During this um, calling, I wanted to remind us of some of the things that the Lord said um, about faith. We know that um, without faith, of course, this is spoken in scriptures. This is Hebrews 11.6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Now, there is no um, uh, substitution for faith. Faith is not like, like only for those who are really advanced. In fact, you'll never become really advanced without faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Now, without it, there isn't anything you can do to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now... The just shall live by faith. Which means that every, th their life, is their direction, the way they think, the way they move, the, is directed because of things not seen. Not the things that are seen. The things that have, are not seen, they're eternal. These are eternal things. And in other words, their, their, their life is shaped by the way things are going to be, not by the way things are right now. Now, Abraham would tell you that it's, it's right to trust that God's going to do the things that he's promised. Now, God promised Abraham something that was absolutely impossible in the flesh. Couldn't, couldn't happen. It could not happen. And yet, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him, for righteousness. Now the same thing is going to happen to us. The same thing. Uh, this, this time of calling us up higher is to, is, is to, to get, help us to become more sensitive to the words that are getting ready to be spoken. There's going to be some words spoken that's going to minister to your faith. In other words, they're going to make things not seen, eternal things, more applicable right now. See, to where in your faith, in your faith now, you can possess your soul. So now you can be able to honor God in your life right now. Amen. Why or how? By your faith. You trust, you rely. The just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, if any man draw back, what's going to happen? It says, my soul shall have no pleasure in them. Now, there is a condition that a man can find himself in that God has no pleasure in. God has no pleasure in that person. We know that he's talking about people here because he says, but we are not of them. See, he's talking about people, he's talking about people who are not walking by faith. And because of this, God's not pleased with them. But, I'm sure glad the but's there. I'm sure glad this, 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 but we are not of them that draw back on the perdition. We're not of them. Now, how can he say that? Because the confidence that is afforded by those who are walking by faith is not a hope so. It's a I know so. I know that my Redeemer liveth. I know it, and I know that I'm on my way to a, a place where he's going to say, well done, good and faithful. So how can you know that? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We're not of them who draw back under perdition. Everyone who draws back is under perdition. Everyone who's God's not pleased with, oh, this is not a good place to be at all. We are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So your faith, see, your faith is accounted unto you as righteousness, just as Abraham's was. 
We come today because we believe the record that God's given of His Son. We want to see Christ more clearly. We want to come up higher. We, we want to be one of those. And what, what's the result of this? Well, God, see who, who is in charge, it's, it's salvation's of the Lord. He's going to help us and give us grace whereby we may serve Him acceptably today. So the exhortation then is let us draw near with a true heart, everyone with a true heart that draws near, full assurance of faith. See, we, we're coming knowing that God's pleased with those who have faith. God's pleased with those who are drawing near to Him. God's pleased with those who have denied ungodliness and worldly lust and are living soberly and righteously. See, God's pleased. Amen. So we can, um, we can have good courage today. We can be strong in the Lord and, and look unto Him. Look unto our Redeemer and He'll, as it were, give us grace today.